Hey guys, it's Brittany here, and I know a lot of people have Mia and have probably taken out the braid or the braid is just in really bad shape and they want to, like, redo it, but they don't know how to redo it, like, exact or as close to exact as they can. So today I was looking at Mia's braid. I was just, like, moving it around, like, up and down, side to side, just like how I just showed you. And I think I've gotten it pretty close to how it's supposed to be. And I put a picture up on Instagram, and if you don't know what my Instagram is, it's jellybean585. I'll have a link to it in the description. And those people on Instagram were like, can you do a tutorial? Yours, your braid looks pretty close to the original. So I'm going to show you how to recreate it as close as possible today. All you're going to need is a couple rubber bands, an American Girl hairbrush, and a spray bottle. So let's get started. Okay, since I'm pretty scared to take out my actual Mia doll's braid, I'm going to show you how to do it on a doll with similar hair. Uh, this doll is my G number 22. She belongs to my sister. And if you don't know who my sister is, she is AG Puppy 585 on YouTube. So what I'm going to do to start off this braid is I'm going to take my thumbnail and part her hair down to her ear. That way you have enough hair to do the braid with. And this remaining hair, I'm going to pull back into a ponytail so that it stays out of the way. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's just temporary. Then the hair that you have for this braid, you're going to take your hairbrush and just comb it out so that it's nice and smooth. Once it's smooth, you're going to take your spray bottle and spray it down so that you keep the flyaways away pretty much and spray then brush it out again and now you're ready to start the braid when I was looking at Mia's braid I noticed that all of her strands like a normal braid you'd separate it into three strands and you'd just like start braiding but hers all her strands are coming from like where her forehead is and they're like positioned funny it's confusing kind of but I've got it so that it works pretty well and Mia has that little puffy part on her braid like on the first strand so you're going to pick up about an inch wide piece from her part and just comb that back and this is going to be like the puffy part of that braid so just comb that out. And then the second strand is going to come right from her forehead as well. I'm just going to drop that puffy part because I'll be able to find it. And just comb that part back so that it's like you have another strand right there. And before I pick up the next, like the third and final strand, I'm going to take a little piece of hair from the front about a centimeter wide and just flip that over her shoulder on the other side of her head and then I'm going to pick up the final strand the same way as I picked up the third strand not the third strand the second strand but I'm just going to like leave that where it is so you're going to start this braid off by taking the third strand and going over the first strand and when you do that take this other piece that you just flipped over your shoulder, kind of smooth it out with your fingers so you don't drop the strands, and put it underneath, like add it into that strand, the third strand, but add it underneath so that it makes a loop. Then you're going to take the second strand and go over the third strand. And when you do that, you are going to take a piece of hair from like the on the side towards the back and add that in underneath as well. I'm going to take the first strand and put it underneath so that it's popping out of the braid. Then you're just going to keep braiding down normally. You aren't adding anything else in. And periodically just go and puff up that first strand so that you have it puffy and then once you get to where you want it to end add your little hair tie just secure it 
and you can go back, comb out what's out of the braid, and just kind of loosen up the strands. Then, pretty much recreated Mia's braid. It looks different from Mia's, but you're not going to get it to be exactly like Mia's unless you send her to the AG hospital, because I did call American Girl a few years ago when my Mia's braid got really messed up, and they did tell me that all of their doll hair is done by machine, so once it's done by the machine, it's never going to be exact like when you put it back in. But this is pretty close to like how it's supposed to look. So I hope this helped you put back in your Mia doll's braid or if you wanted to do it on a different doll like I did. Um, I hope this helped you and thanks for watching. Bye!